Um, so, Ezra wanted to do black, but we didn't have it. I thought we did. So, he's choosing royal blue. This is rip dye. And then Eden wants to make hers kind of pink, so we're going to try the pomegranate treatment on hers. So, the first thing is making sure you have a space to work. And here I have my waterproof cloth that allows for us to use stain or dye and not worry about getting our table ruined. So your piece should be all sanded. And now Ezra is using a cloth to apply the RIT dye. Um, this dye is pretty strong and can dye other things. In fact, that cloth is pretty much no longer usable as a cloth. It doesn't look good anymore. So make sure you use a cloth or paper towels that your parents or family do not care about getting dirty. So Ezra here apparently wanted to put a little on his top as well. Um, make sure you apply it evenly. Try and go over maybe multiple coats if you want it darker and you'll see the sun actually drying this one out as we go. Now Eden wanted to use pomegranate. We started by mashing it up and trying to pour the juice on, just spreading juice on, and it didn't seem very strong. So we ended up grabbing the actual pomegranate seeds and pressing them into the wood. And this actually made for a much brighter red. Well, it turned out more pink, but it actually stained it a lot better. And that is how we did.